Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Last year I made a video with 10 different nail art ideas for New Year's Eve and if you missed that video I will leave that linked in the corner of your screen and in the description box below but today I have part 2 to that video and I have 10 more designs that are perfect for New Year's Eve. I also included silver in this video. And just like last year, I created five designs with a nude base and then five designs with a black base, but they're all using the same color scheme, so you can pick one design for all ten nails or you can mix and match between the different designs. And I stuck with mainly the same polishes as the last video, so I'm using Essie's Sugar Daddy as my sheer nude polish, then Essie's Good as Gold, which is a metallic gold polish, Essie's No Place Like Chrome, which is a metallic silver polish, Orly's Halo, which is a silver and gold glitter polish, and Salon Perfect's Oil Slick, which is my favorite black polish. To top off all my designs, I'm using Glisten & Glow's Top Coat, and for the black base designs, I'm also going to be using Glisten & Glow's Matte Top Coat to show you a matte version. I'm also going to be using some of my favorite tools from nailstiff.ca. This is the 7mm nail art brush, and I'm also going to be using one of the dotting tools that has a large dotting tool and a medium sized dotting tool. But now onto the nail art. For the first design, I'm doing an abstract negative space spotted design. So I'm starting off with two coats of the sheer nude polish, and then I'm taking a large size dotting tool dipped into the gold polish, and I'm creating some randomly shaped spots all over my nail. And then I did the same thing with the silver polish. And then to fill in some of the empty spaces, I took a small dotting tool dipped in the black polish and I painted on a few clusters of dots. I finished off the design with a glossy top coat and here is the finished abstract spotted design. The second design is a Dotacure design. Again, I'm starting off with two coats of the sheer nude polish. Then I used a large dotting tool dipped into the silver polish and I painted on some dots directly down the center of my nail, leaving a little bit of space in between each dot so that I could repeat the steps with the gold polish. And you could totally leave it like this with a top coat, but I wanted to add some glitter, so I used a large dotting tool dipped into the glitter polish, and I added some glittery dots on top of the gold. Then I finished off with a glossy top coat, and here is the finished Dotacure design. For the third design, I did some abstract swirls, and again, I'm starting off with two coats of the sheer nude polish as my base and letting that dry completely. Then I used my nail art brush to paint a reverse S down the center of my nail with the gold polish and I tried to make the ends a little bit thicker and the middle of that line a little bit thinner. Then I added another little curved gold line on the right side of my nail and a curved silver line on the left side of my nail. And then I added some glitter by painting that directly on top of the first curved line that I painted in the center of my nail. I finished off with a layer of a glossy top coat, and here is the finished abstract swirl design. The next design is a little take on a French manicure, so again I'm starting off with two coats of the sheer nude polish. First I'm going to go in with the silver polish and the liner brush, and I'm starting about halfway up on the right side of my nail, and then I'm trying to paint a diagonal line to the other corner of my nail, and I'm filling in that triangle. Then I did the same thing with the gold polish on the other side of my nail and I filled that in. Then I just added a little stripe of glitter above the gold polish and this is also a perfect way to hide any lines that may not be super straight. Finished it off with a glossy top coat and here is the finished design. And for the last nude design, I tried out this silicone sponge French manicure trend. So again, I started off with two coats of the sheer nude polish as my base, and then I applied the gold polish to the silicone sponge, and then I kind of dipped the tip of my pinky nail into the gold polish. 
I rocked the sponge a little bit from side to side to get a really nice smile line, and then I just wiped off the excess polish that got onto my skin with my nail. I was going to add glitter on top, but I actually really liked how simple this was, so I finished it off with a glossy top coat, and here is the finished golden French Manny. Now onto the black base designs, I'm starting off with a super simple golden black color block design. So I started off with the black polish as my base, and because I'm using tape, I applied a fast drying top coat on top and let that dry completely. Then I took a piece of scotch tape and covered up the left third of my nail and painted the rest with the gold polish and removed the tape immediately. I finished off with a top coat and here is the finished color block design with a glossy top coat and with a matte top coat. The next design is a little take on the quatrefoil design that was created by Christabel Nails. So I'm starting off with the black polish as my base. Then I used a large size dotting tool to paint a bunch of four leaf clovers down the center of my nail, alternating between gold and silver. Then I took a medium sized dotting tool dipped into the black polish and I painted some smaller four leaf clovers inside the gold and silver ones. Once I finished the center row, then I continued with the same technique on either side to finish off the rest of my nail. Here is the glossy version of the design, and here is the matte version. The next design is a black and gold swirl design with some dots. So for this one, I'm actually starting off with the gold polish as my base, and then I'm taking the black polish and I'm painting this reverse S down the center of my nail and filling in the left side. Then I took a medium sized dotting tool dipped into the black polish and I'm painting some larger dots just beside the curved line on the gold side. Then I went back in with a smaller dotting tool and I'm adding some smaller black dots in between the larger ones. And then I added some gold dots on the black side of the curved line. And once the design was completely dry, I added a layer of a fast drying glossy top coat. And here is the finished design glossy. And here it is matte. The next design is a super simple gold and silver dry brush design. So I'm starting off with the black polish and then I took the silver polish and I'm wiping the brush against the neck of the bottle to remove any excess polish from the brush. Then with whatever polish is left on the brush, I'm dragging that onto my nail to create these dry brush strokes. And then I'm doing the same thing with the gold polish. I never ended up adding any glitter to this design, but I think this one would look really cool with some gold glitter as well. Once again, I finished off with a top coat and here is the finished dry brush design with a glossy top coat. And here it is with the matte top coat. And the last design is a fun silver and gold polka dot design. So I'm starting off with the medium sized dotting tool and the gold polish, and I'm painting a few polka dots down the center of my nail, leaving a little bit of space for the silver dots. And then I just alternated between silver and gold. I finished off the design with a top coat, and here is the finished silver and gold polka dot design. And here's one where look at all 10 New Year's Eve nail art ideas from today's video. Again, if you missed last year's video, I will leave that linked on your screen at the end of the video and in the description box as well. But anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments below which design is your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, I do swatches, reviews, and nail art tutorials. So be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But anyways, that's all for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.